Hello, it's Tom Lyons here from makingyoufindable.com and um, we're continuing our series on building a strong real estate web presence. What I'd like to do is do a real uh, short recap. We've covered um, search engines, um, we've covered listing syndication, we've covered um, your domain name, what you should be picking for a domain name. Um, so we've covered a little bit about traffic, we've covered a little bit more about traffic, and we've covered about um, domain name, which applies to search engines as well. Today what I think we'll talk about is social web or, or um, social networks in general. So there's um, the social web is, is a pretty large term to be able to use. There's all sorts of things. There's social news sites out there and um, those include things like realestatevoices.com, dig, reddit, and stumbleupon.com. There's social networks out there. Social networks include things like LinkedIn, Facebook, ActiveRain, Twitter, MySpace, um, Zolve, and then there's social media out there and social media are things like YouTube and um, all the other types of, of um, video sites things like YouTube, Dailymotion, Blip TV, Rever, Howcast, Viddler and um, Yahoo Video so um, those are the types of um, those are the types of um, social web style or web 2.0 sites that we see out there um, currently what I want to do is talk a little bit about the different sites that are available to you and what you can be doing to them so let's start off with social news social news is um, well it's just like it sounds like it's news and the reason why it's social is that the content is provided by um, by users of the site um, if you've ever been to a site like dig.com it's a really good example and maybe what we'll do is we'll go and um, check it out real quick for you here so you can get an idea what dig looks like so this is the dig site here and as you can see um, what makes it social is the ability for people one they can subscribe to a, a ch each other's post to the site but they also have the ability to be able to dig the post which means that they like it and because of that it means that the users decide what's important and what's not important what's um, what news should rise to the top so to say instead of an editor um, of a newspaper who would decide this is the stories we're going to run and this is what we find important instead it's the user or the community that decides this is what's important and this is what should rise to the top and be the cream so um, I'm not saying that this stuff <laughs> bears the most important stuff that's out there but um, users submit the articles um, which means that they go around the web, they find it, or maybe they write it themselves. They take that article and then they submit it, um, whether it be a press release or whether it be a news item, whether it be about a celebrity, whatever the cause. It gets submitted to um, to dig, and then the people vote on it. Once it gets submitted, and if it gets enough votes, it um, it moves to the top. Well, there's dig is one site, but there's other sites like realestatevoices.com. And Real Estate Voices is a um, a social news site specifically about real estate which means that and the great thing about it is is you get inbound links coming from these sites which help with your search engine standing right um, and they have relatively higher PR than than what most people does now um, real estate voices is a small site but it's an example of a, a news site that you could submit your articles to and your information about what's happening in your local market um, and again it would get voted to the top depending on um, how well it's written and how much people like it and it gives an inbound link and a link back to your site because all these links you can see um, let's um, pick this one Minnesota short sales if we click on it it will take us to that website because it's a direct link over to it um, and it's not a no follow link it's a do follow link we talked about those a little while ago so um, that's how that works so that's how social news works and you can submit to all the different social news sites um, all your articles. So you can submit to Real Estate Voices, dig.com, reddit.com, stumbleupon.com. Um, stumbleupon is a little bit different. It's still a social news site um, or a social, it's kind of a combination between a social bookmarking site and a, and a social news site. And we haven't really talked about um, social bookmarking, but um, similar similar concept to it. And um, and you can get inbound links and you can get traffic to it. Now, I use these sites not, not necessarily to drum up business because the people that are on those sites are aren't necessarily from your area and as a result they're not your target market however because they're web.20 and um, or 2.0 and because they're authority sites they're great places to build your linking from and to help add authority to your site um, so anyway there's there's that so let's move on 
because we could go on and on about that sort of stuff. Let's go on to social networks. Um, social networks are things like LinkedIn. Um, just about everybody has heard of Facebook by now. Um, that is a, that's a, obviously a social networking site, Active Rain. Many people have heard of the Active Rain, and a lot of you people will be um, will be finding this video on Active Rain. Um, there's Twitter.com, which is kind of one of the new new kids to hit the block, and, and a lot of people talk about it already, and there's some great ideas that we'll talk about with Twitter. And um, there's MySpace.com, and there's Zolf.com. Now, two that are real estate related are Active Rain, which is real estate related, and um, Zolve. Zolve is also real estate related. They're both um, real estate social networks. So again, they're great places to um, to build links because they're real estate related, um, which means that they're related to your site at the same time, which helps add authority to your site. And um, they're great places to add your articles and add extra blog posts and, and create inbound links. Again, helping you rank higher in your search engine side, which we talked about over here. Um, let's talk a little bit. LinkedIn is, is um, a business social network, um, if you haven't heard of it already. Uh, it's, it's meant specifically for um, building business networks. Now, personally, I prefer Facebook when from, from a realtor standpoint because you're not really after building um, business relationships with people here. You're looking to build um, personal relationships with individuals and you can do that better with with Facebook plus Facebook has a much larger following there's, there's a lot more people on Facebook across the board um, there's three choices that you can do with Facebook you can build your profile now your profile is your personal side of of the web and that's um, that's where you write more personal stuff and you have more personal information on it that's not where you should be putting your listings uh, that sort of thing you have a Facebook fan page fan pages are the business side of Facebook and that is where you would put your listings and you'd put articles about what's happening in the market that sort of thing now interesting people subscribe to be a fan to your fan page and anything you post on your fan page gets pushed to the profile pages of your fans, right? Which other people, if they comment on those, those will will see those on their profile. So it becomes a little bit more viral and gives you a larger sphere of influence, which is kind of neat. And then the last one is groups. Um, Facebook groups are just that. There are groups on Facebook um, getting together around a specific um, topic or interest. So an example is a group that you might want to start up is a Facebook group um, for your area on first-time investors. Right or um, or real estate investing or first-time buyers or um, just the real estate market in general that people can join. Um, so th those are ideas that you can do with this. And I know we're not going into a whole lot of depth and detail here um, because we can talk about Facebook strategies all night, but we're, we just don't have time for that. So